Hi, my name is Ken Quapis, and I'm a director of both motion pictures and television series. I directed films such as He's Just Not That Into You, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, A Walk in the Woods, and I helped launch such seminal shows as The Larry Sanders Show, The Office, and The Bernie Mac Show. I grew up in Belleville, went to high school at St. Louis University High. As a professional, I've worked around the world, shooting in cities as diverse as Prague and Quito, Ecuador. But my dream has been to make a film in St. Louis and tap its wealth of picturesque locations. When it comes to backdrops for films, St. Louis truly is an embarrassment of riches. There's an enormous range of 20th century architecture and whether you want to stage a film noir set in the 40s or a family drama set in the 1840s, you can find the perfect location in St. Louis. For instance, let's say you want to tell a coming of age story set in the 1920s. Well, just take a stroll down Rosebury Avenue in the Demun neighborhood. I mean, there's easily six straight blocks of classic red brick apartment buildings all from the 20s and 30s. There's not a bad angle to be found in the neighborhood. Not far away, in Aberdeen and Alexander, you can find stately mansions from the early part of the 20th century. Or check out the Moorlands neighborhood of Clayton with streets full of prim colonial revival housing. And in nearby Carswold or Brentmore, winding streets with charming Tudor and Mission Revival homes. I mean, perhaps there's a homegrown John Hughes who will come along and create the St. Louis version of Home Alone in one of these neighborhoods. I mean, there are simply too many architecturally pristine areas to name, but I can't resist heading down to the waterfront. The south side of downtown still retains the flavor of life in the early 20th century. I mean, imagine staging scenes with the iconic MacArthur Bridge in the background. The North Waterfront, of course, boasts the Ashley Street Steam Plant Building, past Laclede's Landing. This building is jaw-dropping. Just let a few bad guys loose in this architectural gem and you've got the makings of a thrilling James Bond-style action piece. Think of the final scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark, in which the Ark of the Covenant is boxed up and stored in a massive warehouse. So how did Spielberg shoot it? Well, he used a painting of a warehouse as a backdrop, but you don't need a painting if you cross the river and go to the National Building Arts Center in Sojé, this breathtaking building that houses thousands of crates containing architectural remnants of buildings long gone. I mean, I'm barely scratching the surface. If you need a 19th century backdrop, you can find it in Soulard. If you need a 1950s commercial landscape, well, there are stretches of Oliver, Manchester that will more than fit the bill. With the help of a visual effects shot to replace some contemporary signage, you can easily transport your audience back in time. St. Louis neighborhoods are an unbelievable resource for film and television storytelling. I've seen many films and shows shot in cities that don't have nearly the architectural diversity of St. Louis, and I'm excited to get the word out to producers and directors that the gateway to the West has untapped cinematic riches just waiting to be explored.